The nation is experiencing shortages in labor and supply, and those planning to renovate, build, or buy a home are suffering those consequences. Fox 44's Mally Jones, she's in the newsroom with the problems different businesses and homeowners are facing. Mally? Adam, the number of people wanting to move to the area has been rising for a while, but supply is not meeting demand. That is affecting everyone involved in the industry. Labor shortages are affecting supply, and demand is not going down. Lumber prices are down from where they were in May, but there are severe shortages in certain materials that are needed to make other essential items a home needs. Julio Castillo owns a roofing company and decided to do business in Waco because of all the business available here. And came here as a transitional period, but decided to stay because of all the uh, excitement that's going on over here. A lot of building, a lot of construction. In the past year, he has suggested homeowners do only temporary repairs, but now feels they can transition to completely re-roofing because of the price drop in lumber. And so now we're able to kind of take care of our homeowners better, which is pricing in general. Despite that drop in price, there are still shortages in other essential materials. Pistio and the owner of Waco First Home. Home builders have had to use different suppliers to find the items they need. Windows and paint being main ones right now. It's this weird thing that all this shortage has created these weird situations where we're reaching out and having to work with people we've never met or um, we have houses sitting for much longer than we would. Even though the materials are costing them more, Bland said people are still willing to pay for the higher prices because of the lack of homes. The market is appreciating so fast that our margins are staying the same. They both said that even though prices are high, demand is high enough to sustain their business. Customers are the ones suffering the consequences. In the newsroom, Mally Jones, Fox 44 News.